in this question uh, we have given uh, a second order system with input uh, u of t and output uh, y of t according to this system we have to give the answers to the following uh, question now before let's convert uh, this uh, ode form into algebraic form by taking the laplace transform so this system uh, the, can be written uh, as in algebraic form d square divided by d t for d square, d square divided by dt put s square into y of s plus 6 d divided by dt 6 s into y of s plus 25 y of s is equal to 50 u of s now let's take y common from the left hand side now rearrange this equation in the form of a transfer function which is uh, the output divided by input or it can be written as 2 into 25 divided by s square plus 6s plus 25 Let's compare uh, this transfer function uh, with the standard uh, standard uh, transfer function which is a uh, y of s divided by u of s omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square now from this we can see that omega n square is equal to 25 omega n square is equal to 25 or omega n is equal to 5 also 2 zeta omega n is equal to 6 2 zeta omega n is equal to 6 Dividing both sides by 2, we get zeta omega n is equal to 1 is equal to 3 or zeta is equal to 3 divided by omega n. The value of omega n is 5, so let's put this value in that place 3 divided by. 5. If we know these two things, uh, we can answer uh, to any question uh, about uh, the response of uh, this system. Now let's talk about uh, the question 177. In 177, we have to find uh, the behavior of transient response, whether it is damped, undamped, uh, or critical or damped. So these things are depend on the value of a zeta. If zeta zeta is equal to zero, then the response will be undamped. If zeta is less than one, then the response will be underdamped. If zeta is equal to one then the response will be critical damped if zeta is greater than 1 then the response will be over damped here actually this is 0 in our case uh, since uh, uh, the value of zeta is less than a 1 therefore the correct answer the response will have damping so the correct answer is a, a. correct answer is a, a. now in the next question uh, 177 uh, 
it says uh, that uh, a 10 volt step input is applied to the system what will be the uh, steady state uh, uh, response of the system i.e. if we apply a 10 volt unit step this u of t for a step input and this is for input let's convert this into s domain u of s will be 10 divided by s what will be the steady state output we have to find this now to find the steady state output let's apply the final value theorem which is a y of ss steady state limit s tends to 0 s into y of s now let's put the value of y of s which is a 50 divided by s square plus 6s plus 25 take uh, u of s to the right uh, y of s will be 50 divided by s square 6s plus 25 u of s now let's put the value of u of s which is 10 divided by s s and s will cancel out 50 times uh, uh, 10 gives 500 put the value of s here 25 so dividing these two numbers we get uh, 20 so the correct answer is a uh, 20 in question of 179 uh, we have required to find the value of impulse response as t approaches to infinity so what is impulse response impulse response is that response if the inputer is impulse then the response is called a impulse response now let's convert this into s domain u of s is equal to 1 we are calculating the impulse response of the system as t approaches to infinity to final value theorem value theorem in time domain the final value theorem is has f of infinity is equal to limit t goes to infinity f of t in the final theorem can be defined in time domain has t goes to infinity in frequency s domain this final the value theorem has the following shape as s goes to 0 s into f of s now the operation in s domain is uh, easy so we calculate uh, the final value mm, final value as t goes to infinity means in s domain s goes to 0 so let's calculate the uh, impulse response has s goes to 0 so y will be limit s goes to 0 s into y of s limit s tends to 0 s into the value of y of s is a 50 divided by s square plus 6s plus 25 into u of s now since y of s in this case is the impulse response so since y of s is the impulse response so u of s will be impulse inputer and uh, impulse inputer uh, in a uh, s domain is equal to 1 so let's put the value of s if we put s is equal to 0 here the value will be will be so the correct answer is as t approaches to infinity 
the value of impulse response will be 0. The correct answer is a 0.